We magnify you, Lord. There have been millions of people before us and all the angelic hosts who have magnified you. But today we choose to magnify you. I magnify you. Come on, tell them that I magnify you. I magnify the Lord. I magnify the Lord. I declare that there's none greater, none wiser, none better, none more loving, none more kind, none more good, Lord, but you, you alone, you alone are worthy of all my adoration, all of my praise, all of my focus and attention. That's devotion. I'm devoted to you. I magnify you. All the angels may be magnifying you. All the creatures and the elders and those who have gone before us may magnify you. But I magnify you. I give my life to make you great, God. I magnify the Lord. Come on, magnify the Lord with me. Because he is worthy of the praise. Nothing and no one can stand before our awesome, wonderful God. You are the almighty one, all-knowing one. Oh, the all-present one. You are the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. Our life is hidden in you. You are the length of our days. In you alone we live and we move and we have our being. You are God. You are our God. Allah is not God. Buddha is not God. All the other gods who have names, they are not God, but there's one God, God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. We proclaim you alone are God. You alone rule in heaven and on earth. You alone rule our lives. You alone determine the beginning from the end. You alone are all-knowing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All that have breath, has breath, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That hit me today. You know what? He's been magnified a lot, but I magnify him. I choose to be his worshiper. I choose to be his vessel. He's had many vessels, but I'm his vessel today. Amen. Every day we have to choose again who we serve. Every day we choose again who to run with. Every day we choose our attitude. Every day we choose that Almighty God is the only God for me. Amen. He is the only one. There's none beside him. Hallelujah. And he causes all mountains to melt like wax. He causes every single enemy to flee. Come on. And that's for you too. The Bible says in Deuteronomy, when the enemy comes in a certain way, He'll have to flee seven ways. Come on. He's going to break apart in little pieces and crawl himself like some kind of weird creature in seven different directions. I believe it. Do you believe it? You know, everything is cause and effect. It's amazing. It's the, the path of life. You do one thing and another thing happens from it. God started everything. He has purpose. Come on. He has purposed all things. Everything was made by him and for him. And without him, nothing has been made. So it all started with him. But that does not leave you and I apart. There's a, a, the next thing God is looking for is complete surrender. And, you know, I, I don't know about you, if what part of your path you're in. But there's always another level of surrender to the ways of God. Amen? Uh, yeah. First, you, you surrender parts of your lifestyle, parts of your belief, your thinking, and then you come to a place where you even surrender the way you talk, and you surrender what you look at, you surrender your decisions. I want to talk about your decisions today. You know, when, when it feels like a loss in the beginning when you surrender, doesn't it? When you put up your hand and go, Lord, I give it back to you, I surrender to you, but the Bible says that when we, when we try to save our lives, hold on to it, we actually lose it. We lose out on the real life he has for us. A much better decision. When I was growing up, 
uh, my father decided, okay, the TV is not always a demon box, so we can have it sometimes. We can, we can watch one show a day. And, uh, and so one of my favorite shows was this Dutch um, game show where they had the different doors with the numbers. And then whoever was picked, you know, from the audience, you had to choose the number. And there was really great prizes or there was a box of popcorn behind a number. <laughs> there's, there's different choices we have all the time. But when we say, Lord, I surrender my choices to you because you see the beginning from the end. I don't want to choose number three, a box of popcorn. I want to choose what you have, the grand prize. Amen. He has an amazing plan for your life and for my life. The Bible says it's no longer I who live, but it's Christ who lives in me. He wants you to have the grand life. The Bible uh, describes it as the more abundant life. That's what he has for you and for me. But it takes that first step of surrender, which feels like death. Because we have so many ideas and we have so many experiences and we have so many thoughts and opinions. But when we surrender... And we're quiet before the Lord and we say, Lord, tell me, tell me what you want and I will follow. My life is yours. My life is not my own. You'll find that you're actually winning. In surrender, you win every single time. Amen. In surrender, he'll always cause you to prosper, always cause you to move forward. And he gets involved. I don't want to do anything he's not involved in. But how about you? Amen. So let's pray a prayer of surrender to God. And there's going to be an effect from that as well. Cause and effect. He's going to take you up on it and he's going to show you the way. He's going to give you understanding where there was confusion. He's going to shine his light on you to where the right door becomes the obvious door. Come on. Where the open door will shine a bright light on it and it will cause souls to be saved. It will cause the kingdom of God to be built. It will cause unity and joy and peace. It will cause all sorts of goodness from heaven above. Lord, we declare that you know all things. You're the all-knowing God. You've always known everything. You're an expert at life. You are the author of life. And so as we acknowledge that you are the only one who makes the best decisions, we declare today we surrender our decision-making first to you. Open our eyes. We roll our works upon the Lord. Hallelujah. We roll them upon you, and you will cause them to come to pass. You will bless them, Lord. We're not going to do it the other way around, make a decision and ask you to smear some, some, some oil on it, but we're going to first seek you, wait upon you, and let you tell us what to do, Lord. We thank you that you have life for each and every one of us. Goodness mercy following us everywhere we go right now i just release that mercy that washes you through and through the mercy of the father in jesus name we thank you that the old has passed away the new has come today we choose a new day we choose this day that you have made for us and we rejoice and we're glad in it in jesus name amen amen praise the lord everyone